Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're back here at the West Midlands Safari Park for the first time in over two years. We absolutely love it here. So how the Safari Park works is set into two parts. The first part is the drive-through safari, and the second part you've got the walkthrough areas and the theme park. So we're going to start off with the safari itself. We're going to drive through in our own vehicle. If you want to, though, you can actually park up and go on one of their tour buses. We've done that before in the past, but we're going through in the trusty Clio today, and uh, of course we'll get some fun of all the animals. What's changed? You actually need to now book a time slot to go through the safari. We've booked the 9.30 till 10 time slots so you can enter any time within that 30 minutes and then the time slots work throughout the day. So we're going to start off with that. Looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, I can't wait. Hey, and then we'll make our way into the theme park area where you've got some of the walkthrough areas. They've got the new lion area that opened a few weeks ago which is now a walkthrough so we'll check out that. Along with that you've got like, the sea lion show down there, uh, the aquarium walkthrough, the aviary and then of course yeah you've got the theme park itself where you've got some great rides and we're going to be able to share some on-ride POVs we're doing this vlog as well but uh, let's go and get started it's our time slot now so we're going to make our way over to the safari and yeah, I've got to say, having the time slots works out better, really, um, because it doesn't mean the queues are as big down at the entrance, which is good. As soon as we make our way in, we're starting off with some lovely zebras here. Yeah, by the there's of quite it. a few of them. Oh, what a lovely zebra. Hey, there's quite a few. Oh, there's there. loads of them. I always find it better doing this on a morning anyway, to be honest, which is good. Mm -hmm. Because you seem to find more animals are out on a morning. Look so, at that one. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh. Lovely day for it as well. It is a lovely there day. Zebra. Hey. <laughs> Zebra crossing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to carry on down here. We've just got a rhino coming over the hill up there. What's that coming over the hill? Not a monster, it's a rhino. <laughs> Two rhinos. They're big, aren't they? Those. Massive. What's this down here? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we saw him last time. Oh, he's, he's quite nice. Isn't, isn't he, he lovely? He's smiling as well, which is he's good. He's happy. He's massive. Here, I'll get your window down no, more. No. Uh, you're allowed your window down no. in some areas, like here. And obviously, I've got the controls. No! <laughs> Stop! Here he is. He's nice. He's nice. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, isn't he lovely? He's lovely. Oh, good morning. Hello. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, yeah, there's some areas where, of course, you've got to have your windows <laughs> up, but other areas, <laughs> it's fine. And yeah, they've got some more accommodation here now, you can see over there. They Look are at that. Stunning. Yeah, they've got the balconies, they've got all sorts of different lodges and accommodation now here at Westman Safari Park. And yeah, I think that's why they've changed quite a lot of the layout and uh, you've got the new lion walkthrough all because of course you've got the accommodation here too. Yeah, it looks gorgeous that. Here he is. We've got <laughs> another one. <laughs> Looking at us. So furry aren't they as well under the next just there. Look at the little smile. <laughs> Aww. He's lovely. Like a statue. I think he's real. He's got lovely horns. <laughs> oh. He's had enough. Oh, he's kicking. He's off. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Oh, we got oh, loads we've of got these. Another one. Here he is. Come oh, get man. No, no, That's don't, it. Sean. Yeah. No, please don't. <laughs> oh, he's nice. He's a friend of these are. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, just no. Just no. Keep that window up. <laughs> He was nearly in the car. <laughs> he nearly took my space. Here, here we go. This one, this one is dead. No. Do you want to come home with us? No. Oh, no, is. no, no, no. Oh. No! No! <laughs> I don't like it. The scary. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got the rhinoceros just over here. Oh, God, he's massive. Oh, really close. Loads of animals this morning. Fantastic. Went for that 9.30 till 10 slot. This is great. Really close to the rhinos. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. They're quite nice uh, rhinos, aren't they? You just yeah. got to hope they don't charge. I oh, know. If they charge, you end up with a big dent in your car. But I've got one anyway, so it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're really nice. You also get a great view looking over towards that new accommodation. Here's some of my favourites coming up. <laughs> so we've got the Ankole cattle over there. And then the view of the accommodation. Yeah, off to the right, there's what, six more lodges just over there. Quite a few. You like these? I like these. It? The horns are so nice. Massive horns, and they're very chilled out. That one on the right there, just relaxing, having a good time, isn't it? But like the horns are so big. <laughs> <laughs> 
And a close-up look at some of that accommodation here at the West Midlands Safari Park. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I would love to stay in one at some point in the future. They are really expensive, but look at the size of them. And yeah, you get your balconies on the upper level and the lower level looking out here at the animals. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous and they fit in beautifully here. Look at that neck. <laughs> wow. He's quite nice, isn't he? That? Whoa. 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 There we go. I think he, uh, he liked how you were describing his neck. Then, Long neck we? there. <laughs> what a neck. Oh, look at these. They look like goats. Yeah, they are goats, I think, aren't they? Oh, they're, they're, they're lovely. I'm not really an animal expert. <laughs> so what I have noticed, there seems to be a bit of a lack of signs around now compared to how they used to be, uh, telling you what the animals are, which is quite interesting. Yeah, because sometimes people like to know what they are, but they haven't really seen any signs. No. There's the bush dogs. Look at that big rack of ribs he's got. Load of meat there. Oh. Bush dogs. Oh, oh they're all over at the back. These scare me, these do, You Charlotte. don't like these, do you? I mean, I don't like dogs, so yeah, bush dogs really scare me. <laughs> yeah, you've got to keep your uh, doors, windows all locked around here. So yeah, on a hot day, you want to make sure you've got your air conditioning on. <laughs> so we're making our way through now to see the lions just up here. So yeah, we're going to see the new lion walkthrough area later on. But you've still got the drive through here with the uh, big lion rock just up there. Look at the big ones over there. Oh yeah, there we are. The manes. The big manes. They are so nice. Oh, and there he is watching over us. Oh, I'm glad he's all the way over there though. <laughs> Terrifying. And there's three females up there on the top of the lion rock statue. I do love that piece of theming. I think the lions do too by the looks of it. There he is walking around, nice and close here to the lions at West Mids. Oh. These are the big signs that they need more of around really, like the big lion that you can just see here as we enter into Kingdom of the White Lions. So we've got the African White Lion up there. Wow. Sat on the top looking out, enjoying the sunshine. Just looking out over everybody. They are beautiful. Really nice colour, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. Can I only see one though? Maybe there's a hiding. <laughs> <laughs> So these are the Barbary sheep. They look like goats. They're <laughs> like massive goats, aren't they? Look at the horns on that one, like yeah. Wickhamer. Barbary sheep. Oh, he's very nice. Quite nice. Do you want to come home with us? No. It's just nothing. I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I've made our way now into Wild Asia. And yeah, we've got the Indian rhinos just over here. They look very different, actually, when you look up close to other rhinos. Yeah, it looks like the way in kind of armour doesn't it all around the back just there of course that's just on their skin nice building just over there too like a little Indian temple and here's a nice close-up look at one of the Indian rhinos from the front just here massive they are look at the size of him oh we like these hello you got your window down now Charlotte I as well <laughs> oh. every time I come to Safari Park you see how dirty my windscreen is I need to clean it don't I yeah. I've done this bit with the window wipers but I should have done the sides oh these are nice aren't they hello <laughs> mm. you having a scratch there mate how oh, the lovely these are they're very timid and then you've got him just over there at the back there's a crow pecking his ear but yeah, you've got a crow on his back just there making friends with the crow, he doesn't seem bothered though. <laughs> Going into the Asian lowlands now, home of the white tigers. Nice sign that is. Some more of the lodges that they've got over there. And yeah, we've got loads of animals around here, including these lovely deers. Let's get oh. a bit closer. Hiya mate, how you doing? You all right? He's staring me down. <laughs> I like how he's got a fly on his head just there, but he's not itching, he's literally just Looking out. I've got no food. Well, I've got my lunch, but I don't think you fancy Oreos, do you? <laughs> yeah, there's oh, another one there. Yeah, the white tiger is just in there. You see him just laid down on the side. Having a sleep. <laughs> I like these. Sorry. I wish I had food for you. Worth pointing out, you can buy food at the start if you want to, but he's not interested. He's off. We've got no food. Sorry. And there's the white tiger. Oh, I thought he was going to get up there and just licking his feet just Look there. How big his paws are. <laughs> Chilling out, sunbathing. Oh, hello. You're nice, aren't you? Oh, I like your antlers up there as well. <laughs> I've got no food for you. That's what you're waiting for. I've got a cheese no, sandwich and that's a, it. A cheese sandwich. Oh, look at all of them coming down here. 
This is nice, lovely day for Great. it today. Actually feels a bit summery now. Hello. You've got a very wet nose there, I can see. <laughs> Aww. Here's all the family. Oh, we're here into the camels now. There's a big sign saying, do not feed. Yeah, you gotta watch out. They might spit at you. Look at the four of them up there at the top. They're all enjoying the sunshine. They're thinking, what? It's not raining here in England. <laughs> we got a lovely elephant just over there. Look at the trunk on that. I'd love for that elephant to come over here and squirt Charlotte with water. <laughs> We're making our way now into the giraffe area. I love giraffes, one of my favorite animals. And yeah, you can see loads of them up here, so we get nice and close. And you've got the giraffe lodges there as well. It'd be lovely to stay in one of those. Look at the size of that gorgeous giraffe just there. He's massive compared to the car right next to him as well. Wow, incredible animals. Here he comes, walking so gracefully. Wow. Absolutely massive. Hello. Look at the neck. What a neck you've got. I think he likes the camera. I think that's why he came over. He's wondering, what's that camera? There you go. Beautiful. So nice. So as you can see behind, we've got the lodges looking over the giraffes they are absolutely brilliant i love those yeah so these lodges have got just the top balcony and the bottom one which i presume is like the living room maybe is is like a window looking out big panoramic windows and yeah you've got the seating up there on the top as well they do look stunning they are quite expensive well very expensive yeah they are expensive um, from looking on the website i mean you know they look just didn't you charlotte they're about 830 pounds so for they one are, night they are very expensive and they do sell out pretty much all the time yeah there's can... no availability until like late october yeah you can see why they keep putting more in there you know but uh, they are special and uh, yeah of course people are paying it i mean i couldn't justify paying it's that much lot for one money. night but uh yeah you know i would love to stay here at some point in the future they are beautiful. Look at the baby one. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. As we're approaching the end now, there's a safari being greeted by one of our favourites here. Back again. He's back. I think that's the one from earlier, isn't it? Not too sure. Here he is. Oh, you can have him now. Hello. Oh, you are nice. No interest. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> I thought he was coming in then. More lodges there off to the left hand side, too. Look at those. They are stunning. Yeah, the roofs really make it as well, don't they? Which is nice. They are really nice. Wouldn't look out of place in like Disney's Animal Kingdom, those. Definitely not. Got oh, some more zebras just over there. Yeah, these off to the right, which are quite nice. With the massive horns. <laughs> it's getting busier now, so I definitely recommend arriving early. And then, of course, yeah, you can get round, not wait too long. We've not been waiting in big queues or anything, which is good. Sometimes you wait a little bit for the gates to open. That's just standard in between the areas. Um, yeah, so you definitely best book in the morning slot. Also means you get the rest of the day to enjoy the dinosaur walkthrough areas and the other animals to see, and of course, the theme park. Well, we spent about 90 minutes there through the drive through safari. Fantastic this morning, not too busy as well. I definitely recommend going for an earlier time slot. I still think that's the best way to maximise your day here at the West Midlands Safari Park. Did you enjoy it? Oh, we saw so many animals, which was fantastic. Yeah, the giraffes were my favourite. What about oh, you? Oh, absolutely beautiful animals, the giraffes are. Yeah, really nice they are. And of course, you get to see all the lodges behind, which really makes it actually, because uh, you've got kind of the backdrop mm. and it blocks it in a little bit. Uh, so it's really immersive actually with those at the back. Uh, I feel like you're out on the savannah it's fantastic but yeah we saw loads of animals like i say it does get very busy around there however you can take as long as you want to you can only go around once now i think most people really only went around once anyway we certainly did um but yeah some people used to go around a second time but yeah the time slots now do make it a lot more effective in my opinion um because it just means that you know you're maximizing uh, your time at the safari park and also it is reducing the traffic i mean it was not as busy for us this yeah, time i think that works a lot better instead of just having everybody going towards the safari at least now you know how many people are going through. I think it works better. Yeah, and it also means now the uh, rides and things, you know, they used to be empty for the yeah. first few hours because everyone was doing the safari. Now people might start in there first, then of course park up here and make your way onto the safari. But I still think the best option is getting that first time slot, have your lunch like we've just had, and then we'll make our way in and we'll get on some rides and of course check out the other walkthrough areas. But yeah, the safari was great, really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. it. So here we go then, making our way down to the other part of Westman Safari Park, and it's huge down here. You got the shops, restaurants, the rides, and the walkthrough areas. I like the sign celebrating 50 years just up there, too. 
And yeah, I believe now you actually have a ticket scanned here because they've, like I say, completely changed the system now. So it works out that, you know, if you've paid, of course, to go around the safari, they'll scan that same ticket down here. And then if you want to do the rides, that's an upgrade. Or you can just pay for a few rides uh, with ride tickets or you can get a wristband. So yeah, if you didn't want to do the rides, you can still come down here, of course, because you use your safari ticket. Uh, and then if you want the upgrade, you can do, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, I do like that system. It means, you know, you're not forcing everybody to do the rides if they don't want to pay for them. So yeah, now you just scan your ticket over on the turnstiles there. And it lets you into this area, the Discovery Trail, and of course, down to the theme park at the bottom too. But yeah, if you are coming, it is well worth coming down to check all this out. Even if you weren't interested in coming on the rides, um, you've got the two dinosaur walkthroughs here, and um, you've got the bat area, you've actually got the penguins just over here too, you've got a sea lion show, and yeah, lots of other animal areas to walk around as well. So yeah, it's always worth uh, parking up and coming and checking out this area. So before we head down onto the rides, we're going to start off by doing a couple of the walkthrough experiences that have been added since last time we came. Starting off with the African walking trail, and then we'll go to the new Lion Ridge as well. But yeah, this is about a 20 minute walk uh, where you get some more views looking over the safari area. Oh, and you get a great view looking at the lodges up here as well that they've put in. Yeah, so we've got the savannah viewpoint to the left and the giraffe and rhino lodges and the grasslands viewpoint off to the right and the elephants and cheetah lodges. But yeah, we'll start off having a look to the left up here. Gorgeous buildings though, these. Now oh, we're back up by the wonderful giraffes here. And yeah, that's literally where I was driving about 45 minutes ago, coming around here. And yeah, you get a bit of a different angle. Yeah, the walking trail and the close up view of the new lodges all over there as well. So yeah, that's fantastic. I do like how they've got these little walking areas now as well. Worth bearing in mind if you are doing this little walk here, it can be quite hilly. However, it's more than worth it. Look at this lovely view. Looking out over the savannah just here. And yeah, you've got the elephant lodges. Just off to the right hand side here, very different style with those ones. I think that's what makes these lodges what they've done, uh, with them all being different shapes and sizes. They've done a great job and yeah, I'd imagine if you're staying over, you can kind of explore all this area on an evening too. Yeah, you've got like the big entrance to the elephant lodges. Yeah, it's really nice. Changed a lot over the past kind of five years or so, West Midlands and Safari Park. Lots of investment coming in, of course, from the Looping Group, the same company that also owned Drayton Manor. Really nice round there, and yeah, it just adds more to the walk around areas, actually having the pathway leading up to that area too. It's quite steep in places and a little bit uneven surface, so bear that in mind if you're heading up there. Down here, of course, in the Adventure Theme Park. It's very nicely themed down here. You've got Black Fly over there, so we'll be having a ride on that. And of course, we can share POVs down here today as well, which will be great. Really good. Yeah, where are we going now, Charlotte? We are going to look at the Lion Ridge. Yeah, new for 2023. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing up close. Yeah, let's go and have a look at this other walk around area. And yeah, this is where you pick up your ride wristbands just over here. Like I say, you can walk around this area, including your admission to the Safari Park. You can pay for one or two rides using tickets, or you can get the wristbands if you want to. Oh, Charlotte's been very nice and bought us some uh, ice lollies. Just I love to... Smarty Pop, but my child is right here. <laughs> right then, we've made our way over here to Lion Reach, new for 2023. We're going to check this out. I'm all for new investment, but this was where the goat walk used to be. Oh. I'm so upset the goats have gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's a nice new area, though, but let's go and have a look. Maybe they moved the goats somewhere else. I don't think they have, though. No, they've gone. They need a big new goat area. That's what we want. <laughs> Oh, and there's the lions. They're all sat up there at the top, apart from one who I think saw our ice lollies and wants to come down. <laughs> oh no, oh. he's sat down again. <laughs> well, yeah, all this new area here, they've done a good job. Big windows here. Nice signage up there too. And yeah, they've put more accommodation in just off to the left there. Loads of accommodation here. It's been selling really well at Westburn Safari Park. So you've got the lion lodges and they're all the way down here at the side. And again, they look different to the other ones. These look like the one level to me, uh, instead of being two. Well, yeah, look at this. Done a good job with the area there around here. I love how he lied down, he just went. <laughs> <laughs> we thought he was coming for some ice cream. Hey, it's not just the lines you've got around in this section. You've also got the lovely meerkats just here as well. <laughs> He's eyeing up my calippo. Been lots of investment these past couple of years here at West Midland Safari Park. Yeah, we've got Tiger Tropics, another walkthrough area that we're gonna go and check out now. What we got over here, Charlotte? Oh. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. There he is, in the water just there. <laughs> I do like hippos. And you probably guessed it by now, the water got some lodges down here too. Loads of different ones. Yeah, so these obviously be the tiger lodges. 
And there he is, just lying down over there, quite far away from the window, so we can't see him that well. Right then, so we've seen some of the animal areas. Lots of expansion since last time we were here. Oh, it's just really nice to see the investments coming in. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, along with that, they're investing heavy at Drayton Manor at the moment, which is good to see from the Looping Group. Anyway, we're going to make our way now on some rides, starting off with the Rhino Coaster here. you got a nice selection of rides here at the Adventure Theme Park. And the standout ride is Venom Tower Drop, which is a Fabry Drop Tower. It's a great ride. Unfortunately, it is close to maintenance today. Oh, no, we didn't oh, realise. We didn't know, but uh, the coasters are open here. The other rides are in action, so we'll get on those and bring some POVs. I'll also show you an older POV that I recorded on Venom so you can see it. Yeah, there's a look at Venom. Brilliant ride that is. It's a shame it's closed, but we've got our annual passes from Drayton Manor, and of course, that gets you access here to Westman Safari Park as well with your Platinum Pass. So, yeah, we can come back and get on it at some point in the future. There's a look at the Rhino Coaster. Nice Vacoma family roller coaster here. And right behind it, Monkey Mayhem, which is the spinning coaster by Ravishon. And yeah, it's a good ride. It got rethemed a few years ago. The old Twister ride used to be sponsored. And yeah, they did a really good job with the retheme on there. Repainted. Yeah, we'll start off here on the Rhino Coaster. And we're down here at the back, walk straight on, on this lovely sunny afternoon. It actually feels like summer now, which is good. Charlotte's in front of me just there, with a lovely hair. <laughs> I do like the track colour on these two coasters, really nice and vibrant. All yellow on this, and then of course, Monkey Mayhem with its green and yellow next door. And here we go. to the bottom there. Down here at the back. Woo! <laughs> Oi, hands in the air. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's got a good whip through that. Sharp brakes coming up. Oh, blimey. They literally get sharper every year, they do. <laughs> oh my God. It's showing its age a bit now, this one. <laughs> it's still a good family ride though. Oh, it's really forceful that is, but yeah, you've got to watch out on them brakes. You come shooting forward on there, don't you? Gosh, those brakes are so sharp. <laughs> the good thing is the ride operator on there does warn all the riders before, saying make sure you brace yourself. So it doesn't come as a surprise, because yeah, the staff do tell you. Uh, and to work for a little warning about the brake run. But here we go, Monkey Mayhem there. See, so yeah, it used to be themed around Walls Twister. It used to have like twisters on the side. <laughs> I think this looks a lot better though now, how they've done it, in my opinion. So yeah, we're going to give this a go. Hopefully we get a good spin. Well, in about 10 minutes then, and we're off for a nice spin. They did a really good job when they redid the cars on here. Big eyes on the front. The monkey's holding a banana on the back as well. Charlotte's there not holding a banana. <laughs> you don't like bananas, do you? I like bananas, but... <laughs> you can hold the bananas. Got me shorts on today, eh, Charlotte? Oh, Look at this. It's actually quite nice for a change. We've been saying for weeks no, now. About the rain and literally. Fun. Yeah, rightfully so though. Where has summer gone? But look at it, it's alright today. Yeah, it's quite nice. Quite warm. Now these trees look close here, don't they? Here we are. <laughs> oh, we're alright. Hey! And we're off. Now of course you don't spin on the first section on these rubbish and spinners. The unlock the spinning later on in the layout. Nice views looking over the park. It does get busy around here later on in the afternoon. Yeah, like I say, you definitely better gain your slot for the safari first, in my opinion. Whee! Whoa! Maximize your time. And here we go. Woo! Double up. Whoa! <laughs> There's a hippo down there. Even though they're the hippos. Oh, they trimmed a lot there. <laughs> Into the spinning. Oh. Why is it with this sharp braking today? <laughs> it's, it's slowed us right down, that has. Hey. Not much spinning today, sadly. You used to get quite a lot. <laughs> That's a shame. It used to be a really good spin of that. Oh! Yeah, they've definitely toned it down a bit there. This bit's alright though. Hey! Into the little air time hill. Woo! Oh, 
<laughs> oh, still a good fun family coaster, but yeah, it breaks a bit too hard though. Come on, right footage there from Monkey Mayhem. And yeah, it's a nice family coaster, but it definitely breaks a bit too hard now yeah, on there. You spin as much as you used to. We used to get a really good spin on there. Yeah, I mean, it's always breaked a little bit there, but not as much it as it did there. Sharp. Yeah, that was really sharp, that was. So it really slowed it down for the last part of the layout. Oh, but still, it's a nice ride. And I do like as well, it got rethemed instead of all the twister stuff. It looks a bit tacky before with yeah, the twister stuff. The cars are so nice on here now with the big bananas. Yeah, I love that. You can see them on the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, nice family ride, that is. You got the jungle cat dodgems just over there too. And yeah, nicely themed Zambezi just over here. It might just be a standard log flume, however, they've got some nice props around. Zambezi timber mill just here, which is nice. Yeah, I remember when they added all this theming in, there's some great props and scenery around Westman Safari Park. Then have a ride on Zambezi. Look at him up there as well on top of the pole in his nest. <laughs> He's quite nice. Let's go and give it a go, nice water rise. Here you got this and also a small rapids here as well, so we'll get on there. Looking nice and fresh after its recent repaint that they did. Yeah, we've both had to sit in the front on this one. Charlotte's come oh, on. There we go, hey Charlotte's lovely knobbly <laughs> knees. <laughs> Just over there. We could get quite wet here, Charlotte. Wage distribution, we're both in the front. It could come right over here. This could be a disaster. Oh, we're all right. We're fine on that drop. <laughs> the, the double drop. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all right. No, no, it's not with that double drop. What gets you? I'm surprised you came on, Charlotte. I was expecting to be sitting in the back. <laughs> hey, runs plenty of boats over this. Obviously, just a standard layout. You see quite a lot of these around. What a good fun. Sorry if I'm squashing you, Charlotte. Oh, no, you are. <laughs> so we're at the top now. I, I think we're going to be all right. We'll find out. That's Venom. Oh, a shame it's shut today. Hey! Ah! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, we're all right. Okay. <laughs> you got wire on the first double down, I think. Hey! That was all right, that was. <laughs> oh! How did you get on there then, Charlotte? That could have been a lot worse. I'm not too wet. Oh, you're getting better with these water eyes now. I was a bit scared. I thought, oh, all the weights in the front, but it wasn't too bad. No, it was pretty good, that was. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Got the uh, pirate ship just over here. Catacomb just behind it there, which is the little ghost train they've got. Small dark ride. Yeah, you got the pirate ship. Have a go on here. May as well make the most of it. In the sunshine. Dry off and already. Hey, and here we are on the pirate ship. I'm going for a dry out. Hey, you wouldn't normally see you on one of these, Charlotte. Yeah, I'm going to have a little dry out. <laughs> You're not a massive fan of the flats, are you, really? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan, but I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, why not? In the sunshine, we're drying out already now. I know, we will be. I like how you're just gracefully holding your hair there. If I don't, it just goes everywhere. <laughs> is that why you normally tie it up in the parks, then, is it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a good swinger, this is. Whoa! Really gets going. Yeah, up next I'll show you a POV of Venom. Like I say, it's closed today, unfortunately. However, we'll come back at some point and get on there. And I did film a POV last time we were here, so I'll put that in for you so you can see it. Hey, do you like a good swinging ship? Still can't beat the bounty there in the UK at Drayton Manor. That's my favourite one. A nice ride there on the pirate ship. And yeah, here's a look over to Venom Tower Drop manufactured by Fadbury. This is definitely my favorite ride here at the park. Sadly, it is closed today. Didn't realize it was gonna be shut for maintenance. Uh, it's one of those things. I'm glad, of course, they're doing the maintenance on there because it is a fantastic ride. One of the best drop towers uh, anywhere that I've done. And you wouldn't think it because it's not actually that tall. What makes this is the fact that it takes you to the top and instead of just letting you drop, um, what they do is actually pull you down. It's like the big chain and it moves really fast and pulls you down. So you get some great forces fantastic ride it really is uh, now of course with it being closed today i'm going to show you a bit of on-ride footage from uh, last time i was here that i recorded so yeah here's a pov from venom so that you can see it in action Oh, my God. 
Oh, and you can just feel the force even watching the video there. Shame it's shut today, but we'll be back at some point in the future. Got the little uh, animatronic dinosaurs here, which are cool. Yeah, this is one of the new rides they've got down here. Little spinning ride for the kids with the dinosaurs. I like him just here, Charlotte. <laughs> He's quite funny. Well, yeah, it's nice how they're investing still in the theme park side of things here too. Yes, he used to have a smaller ride here called Shark Island, and yeah, it's been turned into a planter now. That's been removed since last time we were here. Uh, yeah, at some point they might put another ride in here. It's certainly space for it, and the op cabin's still over there. Uh, but at least they have put in another smaller ride, uh, kind of to replace that just next to it. But yeah, I'd like to see them put something else here in the future. We're gonna go on the uh, rapids just over here now. We'll take you on for a period of eight. So you can buy your ride tickets individually from the little machines, which is great if you didn't want to commit, of course, to having a wristband. Yeah, let's go on the uh, wild river rafting just over here. And here we go then on the rapids. My seat is absolutely soaked. I think we're going to be all right, Charlotte. I hope so. I mean, it's a nice sunny day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You start climbing up the conveyor belt lift here just there. Hey, <laughs> you're right there. Oh, we got some water in the boat down there. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. And here we go. So yeah, we're sat opposite each other, but yeah, you can have four in here if you want to. But there's just two you sit opposite. Hey, build up a bit of speed now. Oh, this is what we wanted on the spinning coaster. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> Quite good fun, these actually. Oh, Charlotte's getting it, I'm all right. Oh, she's getting it. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> you don't Drop really it. get it. No, you don't, no. If anything, it's this bit round here what gets you. I've got oh, wet dude. shoes. I've got wet shoes. A lot of water in the boat. This bit now. Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. It's quite vicious, isn't it, round here? Oh! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, <I'm back. laughs> Has it got you? Oh. Hey. Oh. It's nice clean water though, Charlotte. Oh, so uh, look how much there is in the boat. Oh. Oh. That, that was good fun. Yeah, look at the boat. <laughs> oh, my shoes are all wet. <laughs> I've got really wet bottoms and I hate that. They're dripping. Oh, good thing is though, Charlotte, it's nice and hot, so yeah, you get dry off. Hey, fancy going on the dark ride around here now? It. Yeah, it's not this spectacular this one. I've been saying for years it could do with some upgrades, but we'll go and give it a go. Catacombs. And here's the entrance. So, yeah, it's this big castle and it's Dr. Umboto's Catacombs. Yeah, let's go and take you all on with the POV. And there he is, the mad scientist himself. Yeah, there's a new sign out the front here, so hopefully they'll make some changes inside. Let's go and have a look. Off we go into the catacombs. Ooh. Oh, great. I've not done loads of work in there. It is better from what it was before. I don't know if you can remember it, Charlotte. I cannot remember that at all. <laughs> it was very basic. Like, you're mostly going around in the dark. So at least now they've listed some of the scenes, added a couple of new bits in there as well. You've got the screen there near the end. It's only a very short ride. However, you know, at least they've made it a bit more exciting now. I still think you could do more with audio in there, though, to add to the experience. Yeah, there's not much going on at all. No, no. It's, uh, yeah, we better do with some better music. But still, at least they've done something. It's better than it was before. A little upgrade. Up next, we're going on to one of our favourites, the Hurling Hippos. And here's a look at the big hippo just out the front. And the sign up there, and yeah, we'll take you on. You got some rides for the kids down here, of course, as well. Got the carousel just over there. 
There's a smaller one around the side. You've got some slides. You've got the little caterpillar coaster down there at the back. The fire academy. And here's the hippos. Hey, I do like these. Nice and colourful. They did a good job with this when they refurbished it all. And yeah, it looks really nice. Let's kind of a ride on here. The hurtling hippos. Oh, I do really like these. I like how we're sitting in the big hippos. We're in our purple one just there. Here are the orange so ones. Cute. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I do like these. Yeah, you got a bit of music on. Could it have been a bit louder though? So the hippos can dance a bit. I mean, it's like the belly flopping. Belly flopping hippos. Belly flopping hippos. hippos. <laughs> We're big kids at heart, aren't we? <laughs> so yeah, it kind of starts off a little bit like a sizzler at first, going round. And of course, we'll lift up. Wee. Hey, oh, that was a good time, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, he said we'll lift up when we did. Oh, spinning round. Now we're on the flying hippos. We are. The flying belly flopping hippos. Flying just belly yeah. flopping hippos. Hey. Go quite high, some of them. We're going to lift up. And we have Konga go next as well. Hey, that's hey. it. We're up. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a good ride, though. It's not too intense. It's just a nice family spinning ride. It's a crowd favourite, people like this one. I've always liked it since they put it in. Hey! Yeah, you go up pretty high on these as well. Hey! I feel like it may be used to spin faster than this, though. Yeah, I think so. In fact, it definitely did. Still good fun, though. Oh, it's a good fun ride that is, always enjoy my ride there on the hippos, just a good fun themed flat ride. And that's the thing here, they theme things in really nicely into the park, so just Kong just over here. Actually got a big statue of King Kong just out the front, San Perla Disco, builds up quite a lot of speed actually this one, which is good. I still prefer these ones that actually don't have the little airtime hill, the camel hump in the middle, I think they build up a bit more speed, a bit more momentum when they're going around. So yeah, we're going to have a ride here on Kong. And here we go then on Kong, getting into the swing of things. Get a good view across the park. And all the different attractions. Yeah, they've got a lot of up here. Like I say, it's nice. How if you want to, you just pay for one or two things with ride tickets. Or get that wristband. Definitely recommend the wristbands though. Because of course, you make sure you get everything in, make the most of it. Drying off already from the rapids. You don't normally get that well there, but we did today. Hey. Got some good force to this. Yeah, you see the animals over there in the distance? Really nice mix here between the animals and then of course the rides. All separated off nicely too. Hey. Oh, that breeze is lush. So we've got the black fly to go on, and a couple more of the rides as well. Yeah, of course, out of throw rides, black fly, and then the two main ones. Yeah, a lot of the rides here have got a lighting package as well. For when they open for like the Halloween event and other special events that they do throughout the year. And that was your ride on Kong. And here's a look at King Kong herself. Oh, any joking, just there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, there's King Kong just there. Nice fair opportunity. Just there too. Fantastic. Right, up next, head over to the Black Fly. You coming on? Oh, I'm not too sure on that. <laughs> it's quite intense. Uh, he always said it at the same time. I know, <laughs> He'll come on with us now. A little look at Desert Convoy here too. A little tracked ride. Which again is nicely themed in. They do a good job of the theming here, kind of keeping it all on theme with the part, which is good to see. Got like the little elephants on the side on that one. 
And you saw it earlier on in the vlog, and here it is again, Black Fly. Yes, this is the biggest out of the thrill rides that's open today. I'd say that Venom is normally the biggest thrill offered at West Midland Safari Park, but of course that is closed today. Yeah, Black Fly is very well themed this, and yeah, it's a pendulum ride. However, of course, you're facing inwards. Yeah, big frisbee. I do like this. It's good fun. Are you coming on, Charlotte? Oh, no. It's a bit too intense for me, this one. I've done it a few times. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, it is quite forceful. It is, yeah. There we go. It's the Black Fly. Let's take you on with the POV. But yeah, I do really appreciate how well themed this is. I think it's fantastic. And off we go. On the Black Fly. I always remember coming here on a school trip and going on this with all my schoolmates and oh it's a little bit shaken up afterwards with how fast it was spinning, I wasn't expecting it I think it was my first frisbee I'd ever been on I've never really seen many of these around hey. it gets going quite fast best advice on this, just keep your head back you don't get as dizzy <laughs> that's the thing I I love the intense rides then when I was little I was a little bit unsure Oh, it's gorgeous in that sunshine though now. Yeah, it slows down a little bit here. The swing side to side. And then you really go full pelt, from what I can remember. Building up again now, and here we go. Hey! Oh! <laughs> That's the thing, people look at it off right. The oil doesn't swing that high. It's more about the spinning on here that really gets you. And yeah, we've just got a few weeks to go until our trip to Florida. So stay tuned for that here on Theme Park Worldwide. Lots of new things to look forward to. And of course, lots of returning favourites as well. What a busy year this year. 2023 really has been awesome. And of course, head over to the vlogs playlist to see all the vlogs that we've uploaded so far. And still more to come. Oh, I do really like Black Fly. Great ride and very intense on there, especially with the spinning. That's what really gets you how dizzy you are. It doesn't really swing that high, but it's the spinning on there that really adds to it. But so uh, yeah, I don't think you'd enjoy that shot. No, I don't think so. Have, have you been on it in the past? Before? Yeah, I have been on it a few times I before. I don't know if you've done it. Yeah, I have. I was just talking about when I came on a school trip, you know, and uh, we all did it and we realised <laughs> how fast it was going to spin <laughs> many years ago. But yeah, we got a nice variety of rides here. That's a better flat ride than anything Alton Towers has got this well, year. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's themed. I think we're just going to do one more ride down here in the Adventure Theme Park. And that's the third and final coaster just here. The African Big Apple. Yeah, it's going to have a ride on here. Yeah, it's definitely got a little bit busier down here than it was earlier on. But a lot of the wait times are still very minimal, which is good. You get a lot sitting down here. It's fantastic. And we're off. A noisy chain lift hill. There's so many of these over the years. <laughs> there they are, they're out of the water now. There they are. The hurling hippos. Oh we got a mascot down here as well, characters out. Yeah, nice view looking over the park there too. Yeah, a couple of smaller kids rides on to the left there. Yeah, you find it gets busier and busier down in this area. Lots of people coming in. Wants to finish up at the safari. There we go. Hey! Still got the manual brake in as well. <laughs> Next, we're going to go and check out some of them other walkthrough areas. We've got some other animal areas up there, and also the dinosaur walkthroughs. We'll see you when we come up. So we've made our way out of the theme park area now, and down here to where you've got the other walkthrough attractions and more animals here to see too. The Dino Diner restaurant just over there. And you've got a reptile house just down here, so we're going to have a little stroll through there. You've got an aquarium, you've got the sea lion theatre, and of course the dinosaur walkthroughs. Look at these massive lizards just down here. It's quite funny really, because when I was in Australia back in January, these were just walking around the streets, weren't they? <laughs> Even bigger than that. I remember we were saying at the time, back home there being a reptile house. <laughs> Well, like this little fella just over here, he's got a really long tail. 
all the way down there as well. Look at it, just keeps on going. What a big boy. Massive snake in here as well. I wonder how long he would be if he was all stretched out. And, it, and he'd come here and get you. <laughs> a little look there through the reptile house and some massive snakes. And yeah, right opposite you've got the red panda area. I can't see any though. But yeah, guess what? You've got more red panda accommodation. Yeah, just over there at the back. You can also go in and see the birds in Lorikeet Landing. So yeah, go and have a stroll through here now. <laughs> yeah, you can buy the food in here as well. And of course, tempt them over. Charlotte doesn't like the birds. So I've come in here on my own. <laughs> Very pretty. Right next door to there, you've got the land of the living dinosaurs. So we're going to have a stroll through here now. you got this one and also Ice Age. Yeah, because of how popular this one was, they put in a second one. But yeah, it's really nice around here. It's very well themed and lots to see. And of course, all included in your admission here to West Mids. Well, none of the animatronics have worked so far, unfortunately. Let's see if they are when we get a little bit further around. Hope so. Oh, it's a real shame. It used to feel so alive around here. Everything moving. Yeah, you've got the sound effects still. But yeah, literally none of the animatronics are working. It makes me feel like they're not being switched on for the day or something, but we'll see what the Ice Age one's like. Yeah, it's a real shame. I remember being really impressed when they first opened this, but it needs some major TLC. Yeah, you just got like all the trees growing over the animatronics and yeah, water features not working. Yeah, it's a real shame because it was one of the highlights. Needs some big TLC, this does. It's still really impressive to look at with the scale of them and at least they've got the sound effects on. They're not quite the same without any movements. Remember the Tyrannosaurus Rex was really terrifying over here. You have to go back and watch some of the older vlogs from West Mid Safari Park. So you can see how it looked when it opened and of course for the first few years everything was working great. Well it's a shame that everything's not working in there now but it's still worth walking through so that you can see all the dinosaurs and have your photo isn't oh, it? It's absolutely massive in there but I hope that they get it fixed soon. Oh, yeah, yeah fingers crossed we're going to go and check out the Ice Age walkthrough now because that was put in after that so it's all a lot newer so let's go and see how that's holding up. And the Ice Age walkthrough is located right next door so yeah let's go and check this out. So you start off with the walk through the volcano just there and who have we got up here Charlotte? There he is. <laughs> This is really sad to see because these aren't working either. Oh, it's such a shame. It really is. Oh, these are very impressive. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple just working over here. That's good to see. <laughs> them other guests are really amazed just to be like, oh, them ones are actually moving. Come a few years ago, they all would have been. But there you go, look at that. <laughs> Still got a bit of movement. This one was just as well. I think a lot of them are sensor operated. Oh, that's good. Good to see. At least some are working around here in the Ice Age walkthrough. It's a really nice scene just here with the huge woolly mammoths and the volcano over in the background there. Look our way inside, look at this, holes in the walls. Yeah, I really hope they can sort this out because presentation is normally really good here. It's not be disappointing to see it like this, so let's hope it gets the TLC it needs. Oh. <laughs> And outside of there now, and you've got this lovely photo opportunity celebrating 50 years of the Westman Safari Park as well. 50 wild years up against a nice backdrop here. We're going to have a look inside the aquarium now. So yeah, this is called the Discovery Zone. It's the final area for us to see here today. Let's go and have a look. Just inside the bat cave now, where they fly around. And here you can see some of the bats up there hanging up. Not loads of bats to be seen in there, but I'm sure if you want to spot more bats, you can stand in there. You like crickets, don't you? Crickets. How do you always say it like that, Charlotte? <laughs> it's a locust, actually. <laughs> yeah. You've got the little mini aquarium in here. It's not huge. It's got a few fish to see. So fast. Yeah, they do. Look at them go. Some footage there from inside the Discovery Zone. Like I say, you have also got a sea lion show here as well. That happens right next door. If you want to see that. And of course, 
you got the lovely penguins just down here too. I do like the penguins. Well, as you can see, we're coming towards the end of our vlog here from the Westman Safari Park. Yeah, we're just making our way out of the turnstiles here. Seems weird seeing turnstiles here now, as used to it without. Have a little look in the gift shop, and then we'll wrap up today's vlog. So yeah, this is all the Lost City Plaza area, so you've got a few little restaurants, and the main shop just over here as well. Like we saw from the photo opportunity outside, celebrating 50 years. And yeah, you've got a couple of nice magnets just here. I like those, proper embossed. Magnets are 5 99 and yeah, these are quite cute for the kids, aren't they? Little Westman Safari Park t-shirts, 16 99 with the giraffes on. Who have you got there? The lizard. There we go, Larry the Lizard. It's only 4 <laughs> Is that all it is? Yeah. <laughs> and much like quite a few parks are starting to do now, they also offer the personalised souvenirs in here. So you can put your names on there and yeah, customise the pictures, which is quite cool as well. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of our visit here to the West Midland Safari Park. We've had a good day, haven't we, Charlotte? Oh, I've really enjoyed it today. We've got some really good animal interaction on the safari as well, which is great. We did. It's always good starting the day with that, in my opinion. Like I say, you do need to book a time slot now, and you can only do it once. However, there's so much other things to see here, as we've shown you in the vlog. I do really like them new walk around areas they've got I now. I think that's really good. Like looking over the savannah is fantastic, especially with the giraffes. I thought that was great because obviously you can get quite crowded sometimes on the safari. You can. Stay Stand there for as long as you want to on that platform looking over uh, which is brilliant and then of course yeah you've got all the other areas to see the theme park it's really nice down there you know they've got some great rides it's a shame venom was closed today but we'll come back at some point in the future i do really like venom but yeah black fly is always good the couple of family coasts they've got down there it's always nice to see them invested in it still as well uh bringing new things in like i say with that little spinning ride they put in hopefully we'll see them invest even more now it's owned by looping group oh, i'd like to hope so there's a lot of investment gone into like the animal aspect so it'd be nice to see some more rides coming Definitely, and especially when it comes to the lodges. There's so much accommodation here now. Like I said, at some point in the future, we would really like to come and stay here, uh, but it is very expensive for one night, isn't it? It's a lot. It's a bit out of our price range at the moment for just one night. However, in the future, if the prices come down, uh, maybe if you put more accommodation in, you know, the prices might come down. You never know. Um, we'll see what happens with that one. But yeah, the accommodation does look lovely. If you're coming to stay, have an absolutely fantastic time, and you'll definitely enjoy it, especially with the balconies looking over, especially if the weather's great like it has been. I think for me, the only negative it's just with how the dinosaur area looks really. I think that really needs some work. Yeah, it needs some major TLC around there just to get the animatronics going again and uh, yeah, just bring it back to life because it looks like it's really old and really that's one of the newer parts of it down it there really. It really needs a tidy up so I'd be like to see that. Yeah, definitely. We've been coming here for years and it's really nice to see more investment going in though. There's certainly more areas to walk around now which is good with them uh, different animal areas. I'm a big fan of how they're also adding in those. Uh, it'd be nice to see maybe in the future like uh, Colmarden in Sweden, that safari park, how they've actually got like a cave Cable car going oh, over the animals. I love it though, it's so good. How cool would that it be would in the be future? Great. You know, so many different ideas. And of course, then as well, um, you can maybe think about in the long term that could replace uh, actually having cars go through. That's what Colmarden did from an uh, you know economical point of view. That would be really good. So it'd be interesting to see what happens in the future. It goes on like uh, a cable car. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's all things how they develop, isn't it? And all change. But we'll see what happens in the future. It's always great to come back down here to West Mids. We've not been for a couple of years, and we definitely recommend a visit. Really nice with the safari and the theme park ride too. Well that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next video.